So Sasha Baron Cohen is at it again. Uh, we have seen him succeed wildly with conservatives. Although at times some Republicans saying, no, I'm not gonna do that when he asks for preposterous things. And we have seen him fail with Bernie Sanders when he tried to punk him. Uh, so now we have uh, Georgia State Representative Jason Spencer. Will he succeed? The answer is wildly, amazingly, you're going to love this. So the show is called Who's America, it's on Showtime. And uh, and I'm gonna just show you clips here, because we can't show you the nudity that Spencer agreed to do. <laughs> awesome, phenomenal. But who the hell is Spencer? Why are we even having a conversation about him? Well, he made a little bit of news because he pushed for two things in Georgia. One was a burqa ban, which he explained to Captain Aran Morad, one of the characters that Sasha Baron Cohen does. Uh, he uh, renamed so that it wouldn't be illegal. Otherwise, he knew his own law was going to be illegal. Uh, well, the burqa ban is gonna come into um, play here in just a minute when I show you the videos. And uh, the second thing he's known for is uh, threatening a fellow legislator in Georgia who happened to be African American, saying that she better not go to certain parts of Georgia if she cares about her safety. So that's this charming gentleman. So having him mocked is particularly fantastic. And you can see how profoundly stupid he is in his reactions. So uh, in talking about the burqa ban, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's character here tells him that he is sympathetic and that he uh, used this trick as uh, part of what he does in Israel of using selfie sticks to take pictures under people's burqas. Uh, he explains further here. I do not know whether this is a woman or a man with a explosive. We pretend to be a Chinese tourist because the Chinese are always taking selfie. Okay, convince him or her that you are Chinese. Go. Red Dragon, Beijing. Hong Kong, I see I'm into Hong Kong sushi. When I said, oh, I see the I just saw red jacket because I got a senior. Oh, do you speak a Chinese? Ho Chi Minh City? Oh no no. So no no. Thank you. Thank you. Red dragon chopstick? No, no, sushi, sushi. Oh no, I see you now. Good. Let's look at the picture. He's not a terrorist. Okay. I mean, does it get any better than that? By the way, it's going to later in this segment, but I thought you couldn't top that. Red Dragon Chopsticks, Ho Chi Minh City, Hong Kong. But my favorites were Konnichiwa, which is not Chinese, <laughs> and Sushi, also not Chinese. Okay, wow, okay, oh boy. Now, we're gonna go to the second clip where he gets the representative to yell the N word over and over again. Um, now, if you ask a rational person to do this, they would not. Apparently, uh, Representative Jason Spencer was happy to, as you'll see in this clip. Now, we're gonna play it in, in, in its entirety, because I want you to understand the power of the words, and, and you, it'll get lost if all we do is bleep them. So here you go. Because of who you are, you could be the victim of kidnapping by ISIS. You have two seconds to attract attention. How do you attract attention? Ready to start screaming? Take your clothes off? In America, there is one forbidden word. It is the N word. Now, I am going to be the terrorist. You have three seconds to attract attention. Go! Nigger! 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 What? Nigger! Are you crazy? The N word is noony, not this word. This word is disgusting. Wow, wow, I laugh at the N word is noony. <laughs> By the way, throughout, he says, I am, have been in um, Mossad for 13 years, not in Mossad. He keeps saying uh, in Mossad, not in Mossad, very clearly. He gets, he punks him here and then tells him he punks him. But still, he manages to get more absurdity. Now we're going way over the top. Buckle up, brace for impact. <laughs> ISIS are scared of being seen as homo. You know what it means, uh, homo? Yeah, yeah. If your buttock touch them, it means they have become a... Homosexual. Now I am going to teach you how to use your buttocks to intimidate ISIS. 
Huh. Show me the batuk. No, trousers down. Okay, go. America! Good, one more time, but louder with America. America! Good. Uh, do any of you think that if someone told you to yell America, ask first, that, that you would take your trousers down when you're a state representative or anyone, any rational human being, and do that? It got worse, but I can't show you the rest because he actually got him to take off his underwear. There's cameras everywhere. I mean, his ass is all over. I don't, they didn't show the front, thank God. You know how he did it? Super easy. He said, uh, in Mossad, I'm not in Mossad. Uh, we have a saying if you want to win, you show some skin. <laughs> so the guy takes off his underwear and starts attacking him with his bare ass. That's who Representative Jason Spencer is. And that's why this show is great, because it exposes people for who they actually are. And that's the genius of Sasha Baron Cohen. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.